Thank you, Ron. Thank you very much. And yes, I do want to talk about something other than persuasion. I want to talk about the process of persuasion, which opens the door to persuasion. Um, it does so by allowing us to get an audience sympathetic with our message before they encounter it. Now that sounds like some kind of magic. How could we get someone to agree to a message when they don't know what's in it? But it's not magic. It's established science. A communicator can get us to be agreeable to a message that we haven't yet heard by going to the moment before they deliver that message and putting us in a frame of mind that is aligned with the central element of that message. Now, I want to talk about this in a couple of ways. I want to talk about it today, first of all, in a, in a way that convinces you of the power of this process, and secondly, that allows you to harness that power in your own attempts to achieve your professional goals. Uh, so let's begin with an example um, that comes not from a professional setting, but from a more personal setting, because I want to show the universality of this principle. And it has to do with a, a study that was done in France. Researchers had uh, a pretty young woman approach middle-aged men who were walking down a street and, um, and ask for help with um, directions to a street. About 100 yards later, they were approached by another attractive young woman right, who had a much larger request. She said, you see those four guys over there? And she pointed to four tough-looking young men. They've taken my cell phone, and they won't give it back. Could you go get it for me? <laughs> well, the majority of these guys said, are you crazy? <laughs> They didn't know this mademoiselle. They didn't know if that was really her phone. And if in any confrontation, they would be outnumbered four to one. So the great majority of them, 80%, said, no, no thank you. I'm not going to help. Uh, and uh, all right. so we see that in this particular sample of middle-aged men walking alone, only 20% said yes. Yeah. 20% is still impressive, but we would know why. That was an attractive young woman. Physical attractiveness leads to yes when a communicator has that particular trait. Right? But there was a second sample of men who were nearly twice as likely to go to the damsel's distress. 37% of them launched themselves into this confrontation. What was the difference? You remember what happened to these men 100, yard, 100 meters earlier? Y yards, we're still in. <laughs> I was just in Warsaw. I was talking in meters. Yards earlier. They were asked for directions. The first sample was asked for directions to Martin Street, the second sample to Valentine Street. <laughs> Why did that make a difference? Because previous research showed that being asked about directions to Valentine Street put men in mind of a romantic holiday, Valentine's Day. And when they were in an amorous state of mind, romance 
became more important to them than danger. Now, just to be sure that this wasn't an example of some form of middle-aged male foolishness, these researchers tried the same thing with women as the subjects. In this case, young women who were walking in a shopping mall, oh, wait a minute, before we do that, let me ask you this question. What percentage of those guys, those 37%, right, who said yes, what percentage of them do you think recognized that they had been moved by that persuasive action of being asked for directions to Valentine Street. Notice that the big increase didn't, wasn't because of physical attractiveness. Something else was required to produce. In other words, a persuasive step. They had to be asked about something that was associated with romance in order to prioritize romance now. What percentage do you think recognized that? How many people would say everybody did? How many people would say, oh, well, maybe half, half. Right? How many, a quarter of them would recognize? Right? How many, okay, 10%. None. No one, no one. That's what makes this such an unconscious um, process. We don't recognize its influence on us because it comes before the request.